All right, so here's the bits and pieces. I've split the cases, and here's the big bit that we all want to see. Got our rods and our pistons. Gear set. So the the bearings, all the bearings I've checked seem to turn really nicely. Uh, but our the bottom of our case is a little bit nasty. Uh, I I think that the oil wasn't changed uh, through this um, because this this uh, this plug ingeniously comes out right underneath the exhaust. I think it the oil was changed out the side plug, which may not be as effective at, at cleaning out the bottom of the drain drain plug. Honestly, it's in it's in pretty good shape. We we can't really um, complain too much about it. Um, but I'll I'll check all this out really well, and then uh, I can put it back together with some degree of confidence. But yeah, you can see how the bottom of the the crankcase is really dirty. So it's a good thing um, that I took it apart. Um, I can I can flush everything out. Um, I think I can pop this back together and it'll be just fine. All right, so here is the engine in pieces and I thought you might want to check out the gearbox there. So here's the the shift drum here and the shifting forks and when when your foot pedal turns this then, then uh, it shifts the forks. These, these shift forks slide, slide these gears here back and forth. So we have brand new pistons and rings here. And Bearings are all greased up, engine case is cleaned out, and it's ready to go back together.
So I shot some footage of the build, um, which I ended up losing because my my Mac computer uh, crashed, had a hardware problem, and I probably won't be able to get that back. So I just wanted to show you a little bit about what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. So right here is the the engine that I got the parts off of and uh, here's here's the deck um, and if you look here you can see that the deck has been bored out um, about as far as you can bore it um, without weakening uh, these things um, you can see here uh, it's 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 bored out quite a ways the head bolts are right right at the edge of the bore and that's because um, this is an upgraded motor. Um, it went from the normal bore uh, is about 45 uh, millimeters and it, it went up to a 48. It's a three millimeter overbore. So here's the stock cylinder um, and in the video you, you probably can't really tell it um, but there's there's quite a bit of difference. Um, you have you have about a three millimeter um, difference in these in these things. So I took the the cylinder off of this motor. Um, I had it I had it bored out uh, just a tiny bit uh, and new pistons put in it. Um, so this this engine over here has has you know fresh bore, fresh pistons, uh, and it's it, it should be in really good shape. And funny story, um, I started putting this engine back together and I just thought I'm just going to slap these bigger uh, cylinders onto this block no problem. Well I started putting it, it together and I and I I put these two halves together uh, before I realized that the the, the bore had been cut uh, bigger and I had the stock bore in this engine. Um, and so I had to take everything apart again, pull out the gear sets and the crankshaft, and send it back to my mechanic um, to be bored out again. So that was a little bit annoying, a little bit time consuming. Um, but it's all done, and it's looking pretty good. Actually, not probably. It is the hardest motorcycle engine install that I've had to do. Uh, that's why I asked my friend to come and help. Um, you just have to get it right in on that perfect angle. The the rear exhaust pipe. Um, I don't know. We must have spent 15 minutes messing around with that um, because you just have to. You have to move the engine forward to get that pipe in. Um, 
you can't install the engine with the pipe on it and you can't, as far as we could tell, install the pipe with the engine installed in the bike. Um, I've never seen anything like it. Um, crazy puzzle to put together, but I'm happy it's in there. And stay tuned for the next part.